Get to play on a little bigger stage here tonight, these teams. Tennessee seeing the court for the first time this season. Carson Newman, as we mentioned in the Open, opened up at North Carolina last week. Annie, what's it like playing in a big-time environment and a big, front, and big opponent like this? Oh, it's huge. I remember playing against teams like Ohio State from a small mid-major at Division One, and they're a Division Two team, and there's 11 players on this Carson Newman team that are from Tennessee. So this is like their backyard. I'm sure they have their family, their friends here. That's exciting. 6-3 versus 5-11 in that circle. Lisa Mattingly will put the ball in the air. And off we go as Harrison tips it to Massengale. We're underway at Thompson Bowling. Massengale with it. Finds Simmons on the left wing. Massengale inside to Harrison for the first bucket of the night. She got position on that low block right away. She stepped her over, peeled her inside, and the lob was wide open. It was a good pass. Now Simmons with the steal underneath, and she'll start the break for Tennessee. Here's McLaughlin for Carson Newman. Her cross-court pass is picked off by Burdick. Massengale was there as well. You know, that's going to be the tough part for Carson Newman today is the fact that they're very short. And there's Megan Simmons with the three-pointer, Brian, but, man, their height is very short compared to this Tennessee team. I think their tallest player is 6'1", and that's, that, that's going to be tough to get those high lob passes over those tall hands. Massengale starting her season off right. Nice assist there. Simmons on the three. And Carson Newman already wants to call their first 30-second timeout. He didn't like what he saw, a couple of those passes intercepted underneath. I think he's going to try and get his team to look more at the bounce passes. Definitely going to stress to them to ball fake it because the best thing that you can do against players that much taller than you is to give a little ball fake, maybe two if you need to, and then throw it up high or low depending on which way you fake. On the right side, another lob pass inside for Harrison. That's there all day long. All day, Brian. Like I said, that height is going to be killer for them. And you know what? I got to credit Ariel Massengale. That was a cross-court lob pass. That's a tough pass to make, but Izzy went up and got it for her. Rotates with it, now I'll drive baseline, blocked by Harrison. That will go out of bounds. Carson Newman will keep it, just 11 on the shot clock though. 17-32 to go here in the first half. 7-0 Tennessee. It's tough, Brian. She's 5-5 going against Izzy Harrison. She's got to get her body into that a little bit more if she wants to draw that foul. Tennessee going with a full court press here out of the free throw. That's where that 10-second backcourt count might come into play. Carson Newman oh, gets it across the timeline. We call that the coffin corner. Smothering defense there. Quick shot by Carson Newman. Rebound by Massengale. She was looking for Simmons on the long pass, but Simmons stumbled, stumbled just past midcourt. Carson Newman's got to be careful on that press. They don't want to get stuck right after crossing half court and pick up that dribble. That's what I meant by the coffin corner. They're double teamed right there, and you're dead. Right in front of us as well. Burstrom has yet to get a shot off. I know as a three-point shooter, you're looking to get that three off pretty early so you can get, get in some sort of rhythm, and she has yet to get a shot off, so I imagine it's coming here pretty soon. 14-22 to go first half. Carson Newman still looking for their first points as Izzy Harrison adds to her point total. She has eight. You can definitely tell, Brian, that that read up with Lizzie on the low block is definitely what they're trying to go for offensively. She is Stealing constantly that low block player, getting her hand up, and they're able to just lob it right into her all day long. Mercedes is about to do the same thing. She's hooking her in. She's got a layup. Gets her own rebound on the miss and puts it home. When a quick inbounds play is going to be needed, and Holly Warlick will use her timeout here to set up that play. You want to practice every type of game situation like a controlled scrimmage in football. This is a great situation here to practice. 2.2 seconds left on the clock. Holly Warlick calls timeout. I imagine, Brian, that they're going to draw up some sort of play for Mercedes Russell to post up on the block. When two seconds left, it's hard to get the ball in and set up for a jumper. I imagine she wants some sort of tip up onto the basket so she, they can get it up on the rim quickly. And since Mercedes Russell, with her arms extended, is almost right up there towards the rim, that it'll be a quick little tip in for her. If I'm Haley Caulfelt right now, I'm pushing up on Mercedes Russell. There's their tip in right there. Got it to Russell, but her shot was just